sail these seven seas before me and capture all the skellywags polluting our environment. Look, the headlands. There's a storm of ruin. For us, we're gonna weather that storm, for we be pirates. protecting the environment. Ahoy matey! I'll be that old sea dog Jelly Lake Johnny. And i be a pirate on account of there being more global warming the fewer we are. The claim that the decrease in pirate activity has caused global warming is a statistic that is used to illustrate that correlation does not imply causation. To entry-level mathematics students, <laughs> post hoc ergo propter hoc is a logical fallacy. Even an idiot knows that. It's a real statistic! Johnny and I met in our first year in college. He is an environmental science major and I was a sustainability studies major. And then the semester he took statistics, he just kind of changed. Uh, I mean, we, we both, we do our part to help protect the environment, but he takes it a little far. It's a little weird. I not be the only one piratin' either. I got a trend started of pirates for the environment. There are now pirates up in the Pacific Northwest. Whatever with your labels, man. I defy labels. I was a pirate before being a pirate was cool. Whatever. Save the earth. Even pirates in ye old Mexico. Yo no sabía que era bueno para... Eh, el medio ambiente um, ojalá que con nuestros barcos y con nuestras espadas podamos hacer un mejor futuro para los niños piratas para que ellos puedan tener sus niñitos piratas There's Ivy League pirates. The notion that this wobbly leg buffoon first employed the pirate statistic is completely absurd. We here at the Piratical Society at Yale have been using it for many, many years. And I, unlike him, have much more experience sailing as my father and I sail off the Hamptons each year in his yacht. We may be in Nueva Mexico, and there's not a lot of bodies of water here, but but I seem to make my way. I'm helping Johnny uh, post flyers for his seven C's. Uh, some people think it's a waste of paper, but it really gets a message across. People, people get to see it. We're making them really colorful and stuff. Um, it's just one little poster for each of his seven C's, and then we'll post these as well, and then we'll see uh, we'll see what happens from there. There be a code I go by, and that be the code of the seven C's, and those C's be conservation, clean energy. We, like we signed up for the wind energy program. Carpooling. Or just riding your bike whenever you can. Caspian Sea. Uh, cold water. Uh, just use cold water as often as you can, like, you know, when you're washing your clothes or Lower, lower your hot water heater so that it's not as hot all the time. Compost. We have a really nice compost heap in our backyard. Cow Ripken. Cloth bags. Well, cloth everything. Like, we use cloth napkins and cloth bags. That way you just keep reusing and you don't have to throw anything away. And conservation. And, uh, and conservation. I know Johnny's not your typical environmentalist, but he's trying so hard to get this message out there. And if, if even one person heard it loud and clear, 
the world could be a better place. And I know it's silly, but you do it for the environment. You do it for love. <laughs> and you do it for jelly legs.